What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have yet another video about vintage Levi's. I have been meaning to show you guys these for a while. Maybe I did, but uh, these are my favorite pair of jeans. So yeah, I'm going to give you an overview, probably throw them on. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe uh, because I enjoy making this content. So, all right. So should come as no surprise that my favorite pair of jeans ever is a pair of vintage Levi's 501s. These, this specific model um, is the 1966 model, which in my opinion has the best, for me personally, for my body type and everything, the best fit hands down. Um, these are like, they're way slimmer than other Levi's especially other Levi's 501s because the earlier model before this would have been like the hidden rivet model, which I like them for certain outfits, but for every day, I feel like they don't fit my body type quite as well. Um, if you don't know, the hidden rivets are like the really traditional cut that are super, they're not like super wide, but they're wider uh, throughout and just like a super straight cut. These ones are significantly slimmer Cause you gotta think this is like these came out like peak peak hippie era fashion was getting a little bit funky um but yeah these things are great uh, i'll show you guys some of the details and then throw them on so you can see them on obviously they are selvage and i will say this in my personal opinion if you're gonna buy biggies this is the absolute latest pairs that you should buy because the later 60s and 70s pairs in my opinion are not worth the money just because to me they feel about the same as red lines and they have about the same fit as red lines versus these bad boys have a more unique fit and if you're going to be paying that much for a pair of jeans i feel like you should get a pair that are significantly different uh but yeah these have held up these are honestly like probably some of the strongest pair that i've had i did blow out this knee just from wearing them i've been wearing these like every single day but it's whatever i'll get them repaired again i got them for a steal on ebay i think they were like 250 dollars um because this was all blown out and then i had my friend just like machine repair it so yeah you can see all the repairs right there he used a pair of uh redline shorts well they were like redline cutoffs that i found at the bin so i just used them for repairs now and then they had this little patch on the inside to patch a hole little flower i think it's cool um but yeah they still have a little bit of the back patch on there obviously they're a paper tag um single stitch that's how you i mean they didn't make like lighter wash versions of these but single stitch is generally how you know that they are that classic deep indigo color and all the fading in the wash now is just from wear single stitch waistband uh the thing that will tell you if they are a pair of 66s versus another pair of levi's is like the later pairs are not gonna have this V-stitch. This is the end of the V-stitch era on the 501. And also they have like a ton of the lemon thread. See right there versus, let me find some copper for you guys. See, that's the copper thread. This is like the lemon thread. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, but or no, that's not the copper thread. This is the copper thread. You can see it right here. So this one's copper, this one's the lemon thread. And they have like a little bit of a different shape on the arcuate stitching on the back too, kind of, you can tell like, once you've seen enough pairs of these, you can tell. But yeah, I love these things. Like I said, I got them for a steal. Feel really good, fit perfect. They fit way better than any pair of jeans I've ever had. The only thing now is like, there you go so you can see it the buttonholes are pretty blown out so i do need to get that fixed too 
um, because it's annoying because the fly will just pop open every once in a while. And I don't want to be walking around like with no fly, with my fly undone. Oh, I didn't even know that on these. I didn't even check. These ones have the Selvage watch pocket. It doesn't make them like super valuable or anything, but it is different. Oh, I didn't show you guys the tab. Uh, let's see, I'll focus. They are biggies. They kind of don't look like it because of the wear, but yeah, that's cool. I didn't even know that these had the Selvage watch pocket. I only have one other pair that have that. And they're like a 40, like a late 40s, early 50s pair. Um, but yeah, I feel like that is about it for the details. Uh, next, I will show you guys the fit and then I guess we'll be done with this video. All right, I'm gonna put y'all down on the bumper of my truck so you guys can see how these fit on. Hopefully this works. Uh, you're, got, you're a little bit low. Let's see if we can fix this. Like angle it like that. There we go. But yeah, you can see they're pretty slim. These ones just fit like everywhere I want them to fit perfectly. Which is really hard. Most of the time I feel like my Selvage Levi's, especially like the old ones, like they're kind of hard to wear just because they'll stretch out. So these ones fit super tight when I got them and they just like molded perfectly as you guys can hopefully see do i look thick yeah but i don't know i could show you i need to take a fit pick in these and the type one but yeah that is how they fit on so if you want to buy a pair buy a pair but yeah that is the overview the end of the overview for these if you guys just want some uh insight on what i'm doing I think I'm going to go out to the Rose Bowl. I might sell the Type 1 just because it's a little bit small and I can pro. I feel like I can get a better one for less than I can sell that one for. So if I be up, I'll be up. But my price on the Type 1, if you want it, is like very, very high. Well, not very, very high, but it's just like I wouldn't sell it for cheap. Um, but yeah, I might have... We'll see. It would suck if... It comes in and I sell it before I can get a video, but might have another crazy uh, pickups video. I did snipe something. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I'm trying to not post anything personal on the business page. I'll post it on my personal and I'll post it on here. But uh, yeah, I just get annoyed with people. Like, I don't know. People are stupid. They just get... Uh, people are stupid i just understand that people get jealous when i post stuff that i buy for myself for a lot of money but most of the time it's come up prices so uh yeah anyway you guys could probably guess what or guess below what you think i bought uh in the comments it's not a type one i'll give you that um but yeah anyway that's it if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and uh yeah thank you for watching have a great day <laughs>